This is the first of several videos on how to get bulk quantities by breaking it up into pieces and adding up the pieces. The slogan is, the whole is the sum of the parts. So, we're looking at a startup company that loses money at the beginning. In fact, it loses a lot of money. It loses money at a rate of 100,000 times squared of 16 minus t squared dollars per year, where t is the number of years since its founding. The question is, how much money does it lose over the first four years, after which it becomes profitable? So we can make a table of how fast it's losing money at the beginning. At the beginning of the first year, it's losing money at $400,000 a year. At the beginning of the second year, it's lo only losing at 387000 per year. Third year, 346. Beginning of the fourth year, 265. And at the end of the fourth year, it's not losing any money at all. So from that, what we're going to do is we're going to break up the time interval from, from the four-year period into four individual years, figure out how much money it lost each year, and add them up. So in the first year, you know, it was losing at $400,000 at the beginning of the year and $387,000 at the end of the year. So the amount of money it lost is somewhere between $387,000 and $400,000. And in the second year, the amount of money that it lost was somewhere between $346,000 and $387,000. In the third year, the amount of money it lost is somewhere between two sixty five and three forty six. In the fourth year, the amount of money it lost was somewhere between zero, because by the end of the fourth year it was breaking even, and two sixty five, the amount of money it was losing at the beginning of the fourth year. So we've got estimates for each year. All we have to do is add them up. And the total amount of money lost is somewhere between nine hundred and ninety eight thousand dollars and a million three ninety eight. Now, this is a lower bound. We know that it lost at least this much money. This is an upper bound. We know it lost at most that much money. And if you want to make a pretty good estimate, you take the average of the two. The average of the upper and the lower bound is a pretty good guess, and in this case, it's just under $1,200,000. Okay. What if we wanted more accuracy? Well. We didn't have to use it doing everything by years. We could have done it by half years. We could have taken our table, and instead of just looking at what happens at 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4, look at what happens at 1 half, 1 and a half, 2 and a half, 3 and a half. Fill in more things. Have eight half years and add them up. Or maybe we could add up 16 quarters, or 48 months, or 1,300 and change uh, um, 1400 something days or we could do it by nanoseconds you know you can chop it up as fine as you like the smaller you chop things up the more accuracy you're going to get but the smaller you chop things up the more steps you have to do the more work you have to do in many cases you can get a computer to do that dirty work for you and that's good and that way if you've got a formula for the rate at which you're losing money by chopping it into pieces and adding up the pieces, you can get a good total.